Anybody got a treat? Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Toys Alliance Archcore Wolf Frecky and Sterla. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have some lovely artwork of Wolf Frecky and Sterla. I don't know if I'm pronouncing those names right, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Her, her, her. It's just. That's all I get from that. Anyway, <laughs> Wolf Recky and Sterla. Wolf Recky and Sterla. Archcore on the bottom. Things, stuff, QR code. You want to scan them? Go ahead. Free scan on me. You're welcome. Warning. Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, things, and stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. And also on the back of the instruction sheet here, you actually do get a, a lengthy bio here on Wolf Frecky and Sterla. So if you want to read that on your own time, you may do so. Uh, that is it for that. And moving right along, here we have Wolf Frecky and Sterla. Yeah, we're finally back to Archcore. I know it's been a long time, but you know, hey, I finally have the opportunity to uh, get back to this line. But yeah, here we have a new Wolfie boy here and a new soldier. And uh, yeah, first we'll take a look at uh, Sterla. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but that's what I'm going with. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. But you can see, for such a small figure, some nice... Nice detail going on there. Big bulky suits. Got some nice coloration, some nice tampographed details. 702. Little paw there. Big old boots. So he's got a nice cape there. With that symbolage going on. Again, 702. But a nice figure. Small figure, as you can see, but nicely done for the size. Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you do get wiggly-waggly. It can rotate. It's kind of hard to do, but it's doable. Arms can rotate. They can move in and out. Very stiff joint on mine, but you get outward movement there. Shoulder pads will move independently as well. Um, you get rotation right above the elbow. It's a bit over 90 degrees of elbow. Um, you do have wrist rotation. The wrists are on a ball joint, so you do get some wiggly-waggly, but it's quite stiff, again, on my copy. Um, you get waist rotation. You even get an ab crunch going on in there. Legs can move forward that far. They can move back. And eh, not too far before stuff gets in the way. Outward. You can pretty much do the full splits. You get rotation. You get... Looks like a double jointed knee up in there, and as far as his feet go, they can move up, they can move down, you have tiltage, and you have some rotation edge. Now, as far as accessories go, I already have some uh, stored on him. We can move his cape out of the way. You can see the cape also is in three sections there, so you can kind of pose that how you want. But you have this little belt here that you can plug behind him, and you have a holster here for a little revolver. And you also get a uh, little little grenade here. And you also get a horn. Done a nice kind of brass. So you can, you can do that. You know, things you can do if you want to do it. So you can see a little belt right there just plugs into his butt. And you got that going on. Uh, we do get some other stuff. We also get a big old... Battle axe here with some nice coloration, gold on the blades. You can see the axe is way bigger than he is, but he he will wield it. He will wield it, and he will wield it proudly. And you also get a big old rocket launcher going on there. Again, just casting in dark gray. The missile itself done in red, and again bigger than he is. But hey, why not? Dare I say why not? You also get a second. Rocket, which uh, I, I, I don't know if you can pull this out. Like, this is a, either it's really stuck or glued in. I don't know, but I'm not going to try to pull it out because I don't want to break anything. But, you know, you, you get a second one because reasons. Um, you also get this clip here that is meant for the rocket launcher, and I'll show off how that works a little bit later. But you also get some extra hands 
For Sterla, you get a pair of, these are very small, but you get a pair of pointing hands, so we can, you know, point at things. You can point at things menacingly. You also get a pair of thumbs up, so he can tell you you did a good job before he kills you. And you get a pair, I just dropped one, I hope I can find that later, <laughs> but you get a pair. The other one's on the floor somewhere now, but you get a pair of splayed open, no, hands or jazz hands, whatever. <sighs> I hope I find that other hand. And for comparison, uh, here he is with half Dan, who has yet to be promoted to a full Dan, but I'm rooting for him. I am rooting for him. So, <laughs> there you go. And moving on to the main event, here we have Wolf Frecky, and uh, yeah, here is Wolf Frecky in its vehicle mode, this packed in vehicle mode, and again, just kind of a, uh, this is kind of like Wolf Gary, Wolf Jerry, I like to call him Wolf Jerry, but anyway, <laughs> just like the other wolf, um, just kind of like a Mad Max type vehicle going on here, but let's get in close here so we can take a look. Uh, the details, you got some nice coloration right there in the front grill. Love the coloration here on what will be the uh, wolf mode paws. Again, you got that going throughout. Again, some nice tampographed details. Looks really good, really, really good. Some nice coloration there on the rims. Again, 702. And there's the back with big old spikes. Some more assemblage going on there. Looks really good. Got the little slash marks. I dig that. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. And there is the top. There is the bottom. You do have visible hair. Hey, drum. Hi. How you doing? But it does roll. As rolling things should. Hooray. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here it is with the fellow wolf. As you can see how they look. You can see they are basically the same mold. Just recolored. There are some differences when we get to wolf mode, but as far as the vehicle mode goes, they are pretty much the same. And here is Wolf Recky with the big boy here. So you can see how that works out. So there you go. Now another little accessory, or well, two other little accessories you get are these uh, these posts here, these double-sided posts which I honestly don't know what these are for. The instructions don't make any mention of this, but they do fit in here. And I'm thinking maybe it's so you can like connect the two together like that somehow, question mark. Although those sides don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Again, the instructions make no mention of these and what they're supposed to be for, but they're in the box. There are things you can use if you want to use them, if you know what to use them for. But that is basically it for the alt mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to come up under here, and we're going to pull out the tail, pull that section out, and then pull these sections out right there, like that. Once that is done, we're going to take these wheel well sections and extend them outward, like that, on either side. Once you've done that, you can bring these down and extend those legs, turn that paw around. Same thing on the other side, just rotate that down, extend all that, rotate that paw, and there you got the back all done. Next, you basically want to do the same thing to the front legs, just extend them out. Now make sure you're kind of holding this section here because you can kind of split all this down the middle, and you don't want to do that right now. So extend that out, and again, just kind of Get a hold on things, extend that out, and then again, we just extend the leg, those legs down, rotate the paw, and extend the leg, and rotate the paw, and you got that done. Then you're going to take this section here, and just bring it up and back, it will click into place, and you can bring these exhaust pipes back. Bring the head up. You can angle those ears however you want. They are on hinges. And there you go. There you have Wolf Frecky in his wolf mode. And I love the look of it. Love it, love it, love it. Just looks really cool. It's nice and menacing. I quite dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look 
at that beautiful noggin there. Got some nice coloration there. Love the molding. Just looks mean. Just looks vicious. I'm here for it. I am a fan of that head. And, I mean, granted, everything else we've already seen, just in a slightly different configuration, but it looks pretty good. You got the tail here. The tip is made of two parts. But, all in all, I think it looks really, really good. Now, articulation-wise, you had... Can, this whole next section can move down, um, but the head itself can move down and can move up some. You do get some side-to-side -side wiggle waggle. The mouth can open nice and wide. Again, those ears can move independently, so they can move forward back. You can angle those how you want. Front legs can rotate, can move in and out. You get some wiggle waggle as well. You have a joint right here that goes forward and back. You also have a joint right here. That can move forward as well. That's as far as it will straighten out. Uh, the paw itself can move up, down, and rotate. And as far as the hind legs go, pretty much the same thing. You got rotation in and out with a waggle. Joint here. You have a joint here. Paws, same thing. Up and down, rotation, and the tail can move up and down at this hinge. And these two sections can move independently and can move up and down right there. Now, Sterla here can interact with his wolf companion. Uh, you do have this section here that can flip out. This essentially becomes a seat. And I'm going to take him, sit him down. I'm not going to waste too much time trying to pose him here. But you get the idea. You can have Sterla riding his wolf. We can also take this little clip here. And we can plug it on to either side. You can do what you want there, but we'll clip on. And we can take the rocket launcher, and it will clip on right here on this handle. And you just clip that in. These clips are very, uh clips are very tough. <laughs> Get in there. Get in there! Work with me! Work with me! There we go. Sorry about that. There we go. We can have that rocket launcher on there like that, and you can angle it up. Again, you can do what you want. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. But things you can do if you want to do it. And you also have... These little panels here, which can flip down. Oh, I'm sorry, flip up. And they reveal some missiles, which are nice. They're molded in. They don't, they don't come out or anything. But still, some nice missiles there. That will come out of the shoulders. And you can have that going on. Just kind of have a nice battle mode. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here is Wolf Recky with Wolf Jerry. So you can see how they look together. And again, molding-wise, they are essentially the same. The only real remold is just in the head sculpts. But man, they look good together. They look really, really good together. And here they are with the big boy with frost lights. We can get a nice shot here. And yeah, they all look really, really good together. Really like this line. Really, really dig this line. So... There you have that. So that is basically it for the wolf mode, and I think it looks fantastic. But let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Let's see. It's okay. It's okay spin for a wolf. So first things we're going to do is we're going to take the seat, flip it back in. We're going to flip the tail back in. So flip in the tips, bring this up. The will snap into place and we're basically going to get all the legs back into their vehicle mode so just ro rotate all of this around bring that down and then just push this back in you can see there's a little tab slot connection right there so make sure you have that lined up and push that in same thing here just rotate the paw just bring all this up and around and plug that in like that and we're going to do the same thing to the front legs here. Again, just bring it all around. Collapse that up and over. And push that in. There is a little post port connection right there. So just push that in. And that'll sit there like that. And same thing. Actually, before we push these in, let's take this section here and just unclip it for now. Because we need it out of our way. This does clip in very securely. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Just undo that, just get it out of our way. And then we can plug these back in. Again, same thing here, rotate that paw. Just wrap it over that fender, bring that up, and push it in like so. You can leave that out for now. 
And now we're going to just take this section here and split all of this and swing this back, swing this back. It will tab together right up here like so. Then we're gonna take the halves of the wolf head. They're going to fold down. You have a post port connection right there. So just line it up and plug it in. I can angle these exhaust pipes back. Same thing on the other side, except this, you have a, uh, a tab slot connection right there. So just tab that in, and you can bring that back. Once you've done that, you can take this section and snap that back where it was, like so. And then you can open up the fingers. You can bring down this handle here, and there you have Wolfrecky in combined mode. It's another big old hand here with some nice wrist rotations nice articulated fingers forward and back up and down hinge there and the fingers can splay out you also have a hinge there hinge there and a hinge there so some nicely poseable hands there and we can combine him with frostlight and here is frostlight and this is going to connect the same way that uh wolf jerry did just want to bring this handle down so you have this little section right here that's gonna go into this slot right here. So basically you're just gonna drop it in and then slide it forward. And that will lock it into place. And then you want to bend his fingers back so you can feed his fingers through this handle here. And then you can wrap his fingers around it like so. And there you go. There you have Frostlight with two ginormic hands with which to punch faces. And God, that looks really cool. Kind of ridiculous, but really cool at the same time. Just Frostlight with his big wolf mitts. I love it. I love it. I'm here for it. I'm a fan. So there you go. So there you have Wolf, Frecky, and Sterla, and uh, yeah, really cool, really well done figure here. The Wolf mode looks really good, the vehicle mode looks really good. Um, the little Sterla figure, again, for the size, really nicely done little figure. Very good engineering, everything works nice and smoothly, just fun to mess with. Love giving Frostlight his big wolf mitts now, you know, it's just... <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous, kind of ridiculous, but really cool at the same time, like I really dig this line. But yeah, very, very nicely done figures here from Toy Alliance. I am quite, quite pleased. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Toy Alliance's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Archcore playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Toys Alliance Archcore Wolf, Frecky, and Sterla. And this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face.